Hi everybody, uh, Sam Saggers here. I want to talk to you about economics today. Uh, the economy is shrinking, right? And interest rates are pretty low today. Uh, could be another rate cut. I'd say it's going to be another rate cut. Um, it's sort of 7.30 in the morning. By about 2.30 we'll know. So, what's happening around the globe? Well, the US just cut rates. Germany just cut rates. We are seeing really an interesting science in economics. We've got a booming global economy, but deflation. That's an interesting place to be. How do you have a booming economy, but deflation? We know it's a booming economy because jobs are out there. And Australia's unemployment rate today, 5.4%. Hannah, come on, Hannah. But for the jobs, for us to get a pay rise, we need the unemployment rate to drop to 4%. What's the other problems out there? Well, deflation is occurring at a global level. It's a worldwide deflating marketplace. So America just cut rates. Germany just cut rates. India just cut rates. Rate cuts everywhere. So, what is actually happening out there? Well, there's a few trends which are really uh, bouncing around at the moment. We've got the trade wars, Brexit, America and China trade warring. Uh, America's really probably for the first time taking care of China, which let's uh, be honest, China's been knocking off things for a very long time. When you think about, uh, I don't know, a pair of Nikes which were created the IP in America. Uh, we all know that knockoffs have been coming out of the, the Chinese economy for a very long time. So America is saying, well, you, you want to sell us something? We're going to put a tariff on that. What that's actually doing is equalizing manufacturing for Americans. Of course, there's wars going back and forth where uh, China is now going, well, you know, we might not buy your food. We might not buy American products. So all of this is creating a level of uh, global uncertainty. Over and above that, we've got more problems which are occurring. And that is the deflation of economics. So the last time we had a robust economy, and deflation was like hundreds of years ago. In fact, you have to go back to the steam engine, electricity, and the telephone. All three were produced in the same decade. What that did was created chaos. And it's an interesting study of economics because that chaos meant jobs got shredded, but jobs got created. And at the moment, we've got five major disruptors influencing uh, jobs. Uh, DNA sequencing, robotics, you've got uh, blockchain technology, you've got two others I can't remember right now. But all of that is doing is creating knowledge jobs, but actually removing tasks from the economy. So jobs which are very labor dependent are now getting obliterated. So we are living through really interesting times. What does it mean? Well, personally, I think you're going to hear in the news a lot about, uh, you know, global recession, global meltdown, things like that. So what does it actually mean? Well, you've got to run to returns. Rents are going to absolutely be what real estate is about. Rents allow you to control debt. Doesn't matter if there's a recession, doesn't matter if there's a trade war. Rents control debt. Now, some places in Sydney today are so negatively geared that it would cost you 10, $15,000 per annum to hold it. When there's global uncertainty, that's not what you want. You want rents. You want rents that pay your mortgage, that pay the bank, but also put money in your back pocket. What am I shopping for? Rents, yield. The whole world is looking for the yield curve right now. US pension funds are buying Australian real estate, industrial, commercial. Why? Because of the rents. We should learn from them. 
at a residential level. Follow the yield. The yield is your safeguard to success in real estate over the next decade. In fact, the next decade you can pay off a lot of real estate uh, because the rates are gonna be low for a decade. So what does that mean? Your rent can take care of business. Follow the yield and you're gonna become really wealthy. Uh, anyway, catch ya.